All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna mod some lights on my truck. I've been wanting to do this modification for a while. Uh, this week, I finally went ahead and ordered stuff to do it and said, well, I might as well make a video. Maybe somebody else might, uh, might find this interesting as well. So here's the deal. This is my old truck. This is a 2004, this is 20 years old. Anyways, so it's a cat eye and um, so right now it's got the low beams on and right now you got just your running lights on. So I've done a modification already in the past where I've actually added diodes to the fuse and relay box and um, it allows the headlights, both the high and low beams to stay on. It allows the park lights and the daytime running lights to cut on with the fog lights when it's in high mode. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. See there, high beams are on. All right, so there it is. There is the high beams, the low beams, the park lights, the running lights, and the fog lights. They're all on at one time. I did that with diodes. Uh, I think they sell like a little uh, chip or something that you can actually place underneath the, some relays in the fuse block. I didn't do it that way just because I had a bunch of diodes laying around. I just did it myself. But on today's video, what I don't like are these. Okay, so these are 3157 bulbs here. And for your daytime running lights and your park lights at nighttime, when you turn your turn signals on, only one will flash. Okay, so that is what the blinker looks like versus the non-blinker, right? So what I've got today is I've got some switchback LEDs. I'm gonna replace it with both of these here. Then I'm gonna replace uh, this socket with another socket like this one here. Then I got some diodes where I'm gonna place the daytime running light on a diode. I'm gonna replace the park light on a diode. So at nighttime, both of these should be white. Turn the turn signal on, then they start blinking amber together. Then we turn the turn signal off, they should go back to staying on white, kind of like the newer vehicles. All right, guys, so this is what we're using. I have some diodes. I think these are 10 amp diodes. I've had them forever. I ordered some of these right here, sockets. There are 3157 sockets here, three wire. And everything that I'm using on today's video, I'll put a link in the description below in case you kind of want to do this right here. Same thing. This is the LED I'm going to be using here to switch back. It's got a resistor, it's got your plug. Um, this right here has got nine LEDs outside, nine there and nine there. So it's 27 around the, uh, the LED and then you got six at the very top. Take the headlights out of these old trucks, pretty easy. Just got this little rod lift up and then um, slide it all the way out. Once your rod comes out, headlight can then pretty much pull out of the way. These headlights here, I did LED lights in them a while back. Just gonna go ahead and disconnect those. On these lights, they have a clip on one side and they pop out the other side. We have three different connectors and that's a 194 incandescent. I have some 194 LED lights. I'll probably uh, put one of those in there before I wrap this right here up. We're gonna keep this socket here because it is a three wire socket there but this right here socket we're going to cut off and it has a black and it has a blue wire all i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and cut it off all right so the, the deal is i'm going to connect this black wire here to the black wire of the new 3157 socket here and there this next wire right here, this pink wire, this wire is gonna go to the brown wire of this connector here. That's gonna be our park light wires. So this here is a back tap or some people call them different things. Basically it goes around and it crimps the wire. Once it crimps the wire, you can insert a male on the other end of the wire into there and kind of like piggyback off of it. So I just got me a little jumper wire here. I'm gonna probably shorten it up because it doesn't really need to be that long. 
but strip this back one side is going to go into the um, buck connector the other side is going to go into this male version here that will go into that back tap See, pops right there into there. So now the turn signals is this blue wire right here. We need to do the same thing with the blue wire. We're gonna put a back tap on it as well. Bring it over here, and then we're gonna put a diode between it and our last wire here. We're also gonna put a diode between our original blue wire back here in this wire as well. And what the diode is for is say let's uh, during the day when we're driving around, power will, can feed into the socket, but it cannot feed back out through that one circuit or through the other circuit as well. So if we have your our blinkers going on, the daytime running light circuit won't have any power on it because it's got a diode block on there. And that's We're going to put two diodes on this one wire. And a diode is pretty much just like a one-way valve for electricity. I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about here in just a minute. All right, so we've got a meter. I got it on, it's in continuity setting. We have our diode. You see on the diode, you see that little white stripe, that little silver stripe down there? If you put power on this side of the diode and you put your source on this side, it will get power. But if you put the diode lights right here and you put power on this side and your source here, it will not get power, okay? So basically, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. Just think of the black wire is the positive input for the bulb, okay? We put red on this side, and see there on the meter, we have a reading. So we have continuity going through the diode. We flip the diode around. Let's say the bulb power is here. In our case, we're using it for the uh, test lead here and power here. Nothing on the screen, it's an open circuit. So the diode is like a one-way valve that's why we're adding those into this system here. So this right here is what it looks like now. Went ahead and got them crimped in there. I did have to take a little bit of the diode leg off, but I wanted to make sure the butt connector would really slide up all the way to the diode. That way when we shrink it back down a little bit, everything is good to go. All right, we got our end. We're gonna go ahead and place this end on here. Got that on there, crimp it in. We're good to go. We got this blue wire here. Let's go in here as well. Next, we need to take this other one here and go to the blue wire there, and we'll be done. All right, that's in there. Pop this light out. Next, we're gonna get these right here plugged in. That one's in as well. Now before we mount everything, we want to test it all out. All right, so I pulled the camera back a little bit. We'll turn the headlights on. That's the park lights on. If we turn the left blinker on, it's gonna to switch to amber. And they're gonna to blink together. Then we turn the turn signals off. It goes back to white. And that's exactly what we're talking about. That works perfectly there. Now, as far as this light here, this is a 194 bulb. These are 194 LED bulbs. I'll place a link to this in the description below as well. That's what it looks like there. You get an LED on both sides and one on the top. I'll put everything back in here now. And then we'll repeat the process on the other side. These bulbs, they just slide into place and just fit there in place like there or there, which isn't bad at all. Did you see that? That's how they fit in place. All right, so this right here is just the low beams. And I'm gonna turn the left turn signal on. So much output of the turn signal light. Right turn signal. And this is gonna be hazards. So much hazards, golly. This is gonna be uh, full brightness there. That's all 10 lights or 12 lights. First, we're gonna put it in gear. 
this right here should be the daytime running lights. So during the day, the daytime running lights are gonna be amber, okay? Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put the headlights on. That's my low beams. You should see the low beams on. Daytime running lights are white. The park lights are white. The little lights beside the park lights are white as well. Next, we're gonna turn the bright lights on. The brights and the lows are on together. The DRLs, the park lights, the little lights beside that, and the fog lights. So all 12 headlights from the front of the truck is now illuminated. Left turn signal switches to amber. Once it's off, it switches back to white. Passenger turn signal, amber. Once it's off, it switches back to white. Hazards. They're a lot brighter as well. Once they're off, they switch back to white. I'm gonna turn the brights off. I'm gonna turn the lights back off. It should be amber for the daytime ring lights. Very simple modification. Looks great, performs well as well.